It's May Muller with Mikey on the Random 30. so good how are you i am great where whoa this looks very elegant where you are where where are you oh thank god i'm in a hotel room which means it's not a complete mess usually back at home i have to like yeah. hide the background because it's like so much going on no i'm in sweden i got here yeah. yesterday um, what, what are you I'm doing working, there i'm working with uh, naked we're gonna yeah. write together again which is gonna be fun <gasps> So could there be a 2.0? Just throwing that out there now. Well, you never know. You never know. <laughs> we hope so. Yeah. Um, how have you been? How, how's things been for you? And, and I mean, we'll, we'll get to the Better Days track and we'll talk about all that. But how have you been generally? Like, because, you know, I mean, not, not I wouldn't say brand new, but kind of we've been learning about you since, what, 2017? We've been hearing about you. So tell us about the journey for you uh, so far. Well, thank you. Um, it's honestly great. It's such a strange thing because obviously yeah I've been doing this for like five years now and I've been really we've been putting that graft in but then better days kind of just shot up overnight so yeah it's the balance of like we've been working up for so long and we're you know I'm I'm so ready for it but then there's also that like oh my god this happened so quickly as well what was it five years ago 2017 what was that moment for you where we actually heard you around the world for the first time what what happened what caused that what was going on then so i was working in a pub yeah i was singing or pouring beers pouring pints yeah nice you know loved it i was like i was a terrible terrible bartender but you know it was all and i just thought you know i i was a bit like this is fun and all, but what are you actually going to do with your life? <laughs> and yeah. I, always, I always loved music and I always, you know, I, 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 I really wanted to be a part of it somehow, but I just didn't know how. And then that's when I started sort of releasing music on my own like on SoundCloud. Um, and then it just sort of spiraled yeah, wow. from there, I suppose. And I uh, um, started getting into sessions and, um, you know, writing, writing my own tunes, which has been sort of what I've been doing ever since. And is music in the family? Yeah, I, I I come from a creative family, which is obviously such such a privilege, you know. My and very dad, helpful too, writing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my my mum works in like my, my mum's always worked in theatre. She's a cost a, a wardrobe mistress, so oh okay. You know, so I love that title. I'm like she's a she's in wardrobe, and she so I've I you know I used, I used to come and visit her at work, and we work yeah. in the theatre together, and um so I've kind of come from. I've, I've been lucky enough to sort of have an, an insight into the creative world, you know? Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. Um, let's hit on with some better days uh, working with, with Naked. How long has this been in the process? Because this is, I, this is like the summer vibe. This is, we've been playing it for a little while now on the show. Came out what, late last year, late last year, I guess, officially. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah 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 um summer vibes all around with it absolutely how did this all work how did you or did naked come to you did you go to naked how did tell me everything yeah so just over a year ago it was 2020 november 2020 i'm pretty sure no yeah close enough yep (laughs) over a year ago i don't know yeah and um and we did like a week of writing together and it was just so it was just good, you know, and yeah. we just got the, the quality of work was just like up here. And um, I think once you meet someone in music that you just vibe with like that, it, you know, it's just, it just feels really good. And then, um, so we got like loads of good songs. And then when I got back home, that's when he sent me Better Days and was like, look, I think like you could just sound really good on this and like put your own little spin on it like do what you want but you know here's the song and I heard it and I was like my little ears kind of pricked up I was like hmm this sounds interesting and then um the second I put it down you know I fell in love with it and yeah then I um obviously we reached out to Polo because I love Polo and I was like 
because I love the song, but I was like, it needs a little something. It needs something else to just make it a full, you know, stunning, stunning thing. And then, uh, yeah, Polo did his thing and it was great. And when you were hearing the song for the first time, what, like behind the scenes, what are you hearing? Are you hearing everything and, and, and another female singer singing it as a demo? Or what are you actually hearing it to go, oh, I like this. I want to do it. I think, yeah, obviously it's very, it was um, new for me, you know, that part, because I've, every single other song that of mine, like I've, I've written myself. So, um, and I, and I used to be a bit stubborn about that. I used to say like, I would never like sing a song I didn't write. But then I think once a song comes along like this, you, yeah. I was like, the only person that will like lose out is me if I don't. And I feel like I put enough of myself on there, but that's, that's the thing. I listened to it and I felt like I couldn't really, say how I truly felt until I vocaled it and like right. worked on it and like yep. you know put my own little thing on it. So once I heard my but 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 so what I did hear from when when he sent it to me was just like the feeling of the song and the message of the song and I really liked that. And obviously he's an amazing producer and yeah sounded great already, you know, but um when I, it was when I vocaled it was when I was like, okay, now I can hear like where it's meant to go you know and what were you thinking when you were in that process of recording it and then hearing I guess the end product from going hearing it for the first time and then having those moments and then going there it is it's it's yeah. it's all yours world <laughs> I mean I knew that's that's the thing I knew it was a, like a great song and I loved it but I didn't think I you know I never listened to my songs and go oh yeah this is a hit like for yeah. sure like this is what I mean because you never never know but um so I, I I was just listening to it thinking this is this just sounds joyful and I feel like that's what the world really really needed and it's what I needed you know I it, it was nice for me to just sing a song which felt fun singing um but I performed it in all you know in the sub the festivals during the summer but it was unreleased at that point right so I, I got to like test it out and see how, how what people thought but now performing it to a live audience what now it's out is going to be like a whole different whole different ball game I hope. and what was the the reaction when you were singing it before it was released what what were the crowd what were they vibing it was good they were vibing like they were dancing yeah and I, think, I think you know that it, it's always a bit scary to play in like an unreleased song but um they they they, they loved it and i guess it was just like a good it was just like a good little, yeah, little little test run to, to, to see. But I just, I could see that it just made people happy, you know? So it was, I was like, whatever happens with this song, like I'm I'm, ha I'm happy with it. That's so good. Um, What are the future projects? I mean, you're you're overseas at the moment and, and, and writing with Naked again, but what are the projects for you? What are you looking for personally in 2022? Um, I'm looking forward to going on tour again. Australia, um, I'm assuming. I would, I mean, trust me, where I'm figuring it out. Like, I. I <laughs> May, <mean>. come on. <laughs> I've never been to Australia, at, like, at, like, at all. So I'm literally Ever. like. No, never. Wait, and what? Just, I'm on the phone to, like, my team all the time. And I'm just like, when are we going? Like, when are we going? Let's go now. Like, why are we not going now? So. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely, definitely at the forefront of my, of my mind. We um, would love you here in Australia. Absolutely. I can't wait. I mean, I'm really, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's going to, it's obviously going to happen, but we're just yep. figuring out what, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And I feel like everyone that I meet from Australia is just, they're just good people, you know? So I'm, I'm yeah, we here. try our best. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we've got a couple of faults. As long as you like to dance hard, party hard, drink a few beers and whatever, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> perfect me let's go yeah all right let's do it back to your bartending days you'll pull the beers right yeah yeah Absolutely. i like it Absolutely mate fine. so good catching up with you uh loving the new track it's such a party vibe thanks so much for hanging out with us oh my god of course thank you for having me it's been fun